Hello, Mrs. Cook. Hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Riglia. I'm one of the psychiatrists. Um, I understand that you made an appointment to speak to me today um, about the lithium as you've been um, treated with antidepressants and I think you wanted to know whether lithium would be the next treatment that you would be able to take. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, would you like me to call you? Um, uh, Amy. Amy. Yeah. Okay, Amy, do you want to tell me what's your understanding about lithium? Well, I've, I've got a friend who had lithium and she was depressed and she said, you know, it, it, it was all right. And she said she had to blood tests and things and they said about um, getting pregnant and stuff. So, yeah, that sort of thing. Okay. Well, I mean, thank you for coming in and talking to me about it. Lithium is one of the medications that we use. It's known as a mood stabilizer. Mm -hmm. And um, like you've mentioned, your friend has been on it when she was depressed. So we also use it for um, treatment-resistant depression. Okay. Um, so as much as it's a mood stabilizer for illnesses like bipolar affective disorder, we use it in depression. Mm -hmm. And the way in which it works is that what we know is that it enhances um, the effects of other antidepressants and usually helps to stabilize someone's mood. Yeah. Um, do you know anything at all about lithium? I know you mentioned some blood tests. No, just just that really. Okay. So um, lithium, as you've mentioned, you'd have to have blood tests, and the reason is it can cause some side effects. Are you aware of any side effects? She said some. My friend said something about if you get pregnant or something, but I don't know. Yeah. So the short-term side effects is usually just causing like a dry mouth. Um, some tummy upsets, some diarrhea, those are the short term side effects. Um, but the longer term side effects, like you've mentioned, it can cause some um, fetal abnormalities, which we call Epstein abnormality. Um, so that causes a fetal defect, congenital defect, in about one in 100 pregnancies. But usually, when someone's on lithium, we try to advise them. Um, to take precautions and also if they are planning to have a, a baby then we'd need to look at alternative treatment. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Um, and then the other side effects is it can cause lithium toxicity, it can cause some seizures and can cause kidney failure as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, it can cause some skin lesions like acne. Yeah. Um, so it does have side effects and affect the thyroid as well. But we usually safeguard against this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to know more about um, the blood tests? Is that why the, we have the blood test centre stop? Yeah. So we usually do blood tests. We do blood tests every three months to ensure that um, the lithium level is at the normal level uh, because if the lithium level goes up, as I mentioned, it can become toxic in our blood um, and usually if someone gets toxic, um, it can cause them to become confused, they can have seizures and it can be fatal as well. But like I've mentioned, usually we do blood tests before someone starts and then we continue to monitor the lithium level. So I know it's a lot of information, um, Amy, and um, I can give you a leaflet that you can read and also make another appointment to discuss this with me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also tell people that when they are on lithium, that they need to um, ensure that they need to take enough fluids, they need to have a low salt diet, um, and avoid hot places. Um, okay to prevent any dehydration. Okay. Yeah. What about um, like alcohol? Yes. Yeah. Well, like all medications, we do advise that um, they shouldn't be drinking and taking lithium. Right. Um, if you're on any other medication as well, some people are concerned usually if they're taking lithium. It can interact with some other medications like ibuprofen and aspirin, the type of medications that you use for joints and diuretics um, and warfarin, but we usually try to um, monitor these if you are on any other medications. I'm, 
um, and I've just been taking the antidepressants that the doctor gave. Yeah. yeah. So one, like you said, you've been taking antidepressants, and usually what we find is the thing actually enhances the effects of the antidepressants and the success rate and um, recovery from lithium with other medications is high. People that go on lithium, despite the complications and the side effects, do respond and do get better, like you've told me in your friend's case. So, if I, it might help with the other stuff if I take it. Yeah. Um, yes, so I mean, before we start the medication, like I said earlier, we usually do blood tests, so we do thyroid tests to make sure your thyroid is okay. We do um, blood tests like for blood count and mutinies. We'll do a tracing of your heart to ensure there's no complications um, with your heart. So we ensure that, make sure all the base, baseline tests are done. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, lithium, I know I miss, um, miss Cook and that we have spoken a lot about the lithium. Mm -hmm. It is a lot to take on board, but I can assure you it is a medication which is beneficial. I told you about the effects and the side effects. Um, and I'm happy to talk to you again about this and give you the leaflet so you can take it home and have a read. All right, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, do you have any other questions? No, I mean, if it, if it helps, I think I'd rather try it, really. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm glad that you are willing to consider this medication, Ms. Um, Cook. Thank you for talking to me today. Okay. Thank you.